used the BLS signatures for two things. One is a random function and one is to aggregate signatures. So BLS signatures have the features that you can uh, add them and you can add the public keys and then they give you an aggregate signature and public key. And that is used for two things. That first thing is the view change protocol and the second thing is the, um, uh, the when the active validator's vote on the block, uh, it's going to be used in the mix 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are different approaches. Um, the simplest one is probably to just have one node that collects all the signatures. That's uh, not very fault tolerant and also very inefficient because that node will get a lot of traffic. And a different, appro uh, a different approach would be to um, uh, do gossiping, which is basically everyone sends his data around or his signature and every other node forwards that stuff he gets. To every, everyone until everyone has everything. Well, at least one node has to have everything and then cycle the block. Um, that's also very efficient because you might send data multiple times because you don't know what the other node already has. Uh, there's this protocol binomial swap forest. <laughs> yeah, it uses the network topology basically because every node has some bandwidth and that has a lot of bandwidth, but you want to minimize the latency and if, if you do. Um, Gossiping, you have all this latency because you basically have to exchange more than n messages between uh, for every peer, and that's then n times the latency of the network. And if you do binomial swaps, you only need a logarithmic amount of signatures or swaps. And um, also, while aggregating those, you might uh, exchange more data, but you actually have to throughput, and you wait for what else not to be ready, so you don't get. Uh, spam with messages, so you will really efficiently use your bandwidth. The protocol works like this. Uh, you have the set of nodes which now exchange the, the signatures and aggregate them. And everyone builds his own um, aggregate signature, or tries to. And uh, we start with two nodes which are in some kind, some some sense, we define randomly are close, and they swap first. So both of those nodes now have both signatures, and now those both swap with the next two, which already swap. So this way, in the second layer, you already have four signatures, and you repeat this until all the nodes theoretically have all the signatures. And while doing this in a specific way, you never get to the point where you swap signatures with someone where you already have something of that set because the, when you swap, the other half of that swap is always uh, separate. And that way um, you first have only at each step one interaction with another peer, so that's only one message sent, one received. And you do this uh, for all the layers. And, uh, this saves a lot of bandwidth because only two messages, so it's really fast. For example, in the gossip protocol, you um, you exchange more me messages than necessary, and in the um, in this protocol, you only have to. Um, for example, if you have like a f I think 500 nodes, you would need seven exchanges. So seven messages per, per node. Every node is separate. Uh, in this case, every no uh, node has to do seven uh, sends and receives. And then it's done for 500 signatures. So it's really fast. And there's also an extension that's called uh, Handle, which is uh, changes this um, algorithm to make it all tolerance in case of bad actors. And that's why what I'm implementing right now. Mm -hmm.